Welcome to Al May. We are here to share tech knowledge with you. Let's get our journey started. Today, we are going to show you how to repair invalid dynamic disk without data loss. We have two parts in this video. Part one: Repair with Windows Building Tool. Part two: Repair with a powerful software. When your dynamic disk shows as invalid in Windows, it may be caused by various reasons, like bad sectors, hard drive issues, bad SATA cable, virus attack, or malware. And the most important reason could be the Windows incompatibility issue. But please don't panic. I will help you repair this issue in this video. Just keep watching. As we all know. Not all versions of Windows operating system support dynamic disks. If the dynamic disk shows as invalid, you could upgrade to another Windows operating system that supports dynamic disks. If it still doesn't work, you can try to repair it with Windows Building Tool, Disk Part, and Disk Management. Let's see the detail. With Disk Part, we can make our invalid disk online. Input cmd in the search box, and choose Run as Administrator. Type disk part, and hit Enter. Type list disk. Remember your invalid disk number. Mine is disk one. Type select disk one. Type online disk. With disk management, we can convert our invalid dynamic disk to basic disk. Then your disk can show normally. Type diskmgmt.msc in search box on the desktop to enter disk management. Right-click the invalid dynamic disk and choose Convert to Basic Disk. If the solutions above are not working for you, or you are looking for a safer way, why not turn to a powerful software for help? Alme Partition Assistant is a professional dynamic or basic disks and volumes management software for Windows. It allows you to convert disk between basic and dynamic without losing data. Just Google Alme Partition Assistant, download and install it. Let's keep watching. Run Alme Partition Assistant. Click Dynamic Disk, Launch Dynamic Disk Manager. Then right-click the invalid dynamic disk, and choose Convert to Basic Disk. A prompt window will show up, and hit OK. And press Commit. At the Pending Operations window, press Proceed to repair invalid dynamic disk without losing data. The operation requires a reboot to take effect. Now, the dynamic disk shows as invalid problem should be repaired, and it will never bother you again. That is all about how to repair invalid dynamic disk. Hope you can get what you need. After watching, want to know more about Alme? Looking for more tech knowledge? Just subscribe us and leave comments. We are here to help you with any questions.